In this video, I'm gonna take you on a tour of the Highland Homes 86 foot model home here in Mustang Lakes, located in Salina, Texas. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode, Texas Model Home Tours. I am your host, Alex Piak, EXP Realty, your North Dallas real estate expert. Today, guys, we're out in Salina, Texas, and we are in the Mustang Lakes community. This is an amazing community, five-star community, award-winning master plan community, great amenities, and we're gonna be touring this absolute stunning home behind me. This home is built by Highland Homes. This is their 608 model, and this is for their 86-foot lot series. Uh, Highland has several models here in this community. This is their largest lot series here that they have a model for. Uh, this is the 86-foot lot series, guys. You heard me right, 86-foot lots. That is absolutely huge here in DFW, so I can't wait to show you guys this because it's so unique. Uh, this model is absolutely incredible. On the model home tour, we'll talk about what they actually did in this model as far as structural add-ons and design center, talk about what the cost is, everything from the base model to exactly what you see behind me. So without further ado, let's get inside and let's start today's model home tour. Let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome inside Highland Homes. This is their 86 foot model home here in Mustang Lakes located in Salina, Texas. The model home we're looking at is called the 608 plan. And today's model home as a base, just so you guys can kind of know, and we'll talk about what they've done here structurally on the model. But as a base home, the 608 plan is going to be a two story, four bedroom, three and a half bath home with game room, media room, study, outdoor car, uh, courtyard with a three car garage. And the base price is 1 million one hundred and basically $44,000 as a starting price. I will tell you guys, prices are always subject to change. That's just the current price today as we are out here doing our tour. And uh, as a base home, you're looking at 4,086 square feet. Now this beautiful master, which we are in your home office, which is absolutely spectacular with those beautiful custom built-ins, the exposed beams here on the ceiling, which is an upgrade, super cool accent wall. This is almost like a tweed fabric. Yeah, it's almost like a tweed fabric on the wall type wallpaper, so very interesting. But this beautiful model home, guys, that we're touring, is closer to 4,800 square feet with all of the upgrades, structural add-ons, which we'll absolutely point out to you today as we tour the home. Uh, this home has almost 500,000 in structural and design center options. Just, just kind of keep that in mind. We're looking at basically about a $1.7 million home. However, don't let that number scare you because most buyers who are buying this floor plan actually are coming in right around $1.4 million. So again, that, uh, that difference in price just goes to show you like what the builder has put into the model because they want to showcase to you what is feasible here when you build with Highland Homes. And if you guys have been on my channel before, you know I am a huge, huge fan of Highland Homes. One of my favorite builders, uh, great quality builder. So I really enjoy bringing you guys today's model. Here we have a second bedroom located on the main level. And that is so very important when you are building. Uh, if it's possible, I always recommend because this is one of those features, the second bedroom on the main level. If you're looking at a two story home, I will tell you that that is becoming very, very important when it comes to resale. About seven out of 10 of our buyer clients right now are requesting a second suite downstairs on the main level. 
in a lot of them, you know, here we have a nice walk-in closet. A lot of them are doing the stand-up shower, which makes it perfect uh, for guests, or maybe you have an elderly parent that comes and spends time with you. So having a nice guest suite down here with a walk-in closet um, and a full walk-in shower is becoming more and more popular. And while we're touring again, we're still at the main entrance here is kind of your coat closet when you walk in being used by the builder. I will show you this door here. This is gonna be for one of your garages currently being used with the builder, so private offices there. But take a peek here at this beautiful grand entrance. I love the nice tall ceilings. You've got the wood accent inlay there in the ceiling up there, the wood trim, the open railing system as it comes and greets you right here. I like the little step up. This is a Highland Home special right there. I love how they've got that set up. And then look at these doors, guys. This, by the way, is almost a $20,000 structural add-on to widen the entrance and then put the two iron doors there. Those things are super heavy but man, they make a statement when you walk in from those doors and then you have this beautiful grand entrance. So let's make our way into the main part of the house. While we do that, let me introduce myself for those of you who've not been to the channel before. My name is Alex Piak. I am a Dallas, Texas real estate agent and I specialize in helping buyers with new construction homes here in DFW. As we walk in, you see you've got your formal dining area located here with this beautiful built-in hutch and wine area. We'll walk around this so you guys can get a full feel of this area. Highland does a great job too of adding in lots of windows. You'll see windows up high, windows on the side of the home, really bringing in as much natural light as you possibly can, which always helps. I think homes show much nicer with lots of natural light. Here's that beautiful hutch all built in with the granite, the under cabinet lights. Great little area for those people who love, love to indulge on some wine. And then look at that view from in here. You can already start to see all of the the beams on the ceiling, that's just a great view. Imagine sitting here, you've got about eight, nine, 10 people, you're doing a nice dinner and that's, this is your view. You've got your double sliding door, second set of windows up there, beautiful chandeliers, and then all of the exposed beams. And this is just a breathtaking view one of the reasons why this is easily one of the most, I would say one of the most sought after floor plans here with Highland Homes. This is a model home and floor plan that you'll get here. Also was available at one point into the fields. Oh, I'm sorry, not the fields, but it was available at uh, the Grove as well as their model at one point, which we do have that model home featured on our channel. So feel free to take a look at that. You can kind of see what differences they have between the two models when it comes to finishes and design. Here you got a nice center gas fireplace with the built-ins on each side. And this is just a great focal center point of this entire room right here. I love the trim around it. It's just bold. It pops. It just looks incredible. And then they've got that same granite that they used on as the built-in hutch with the wine rack. So it really ties everything together. And then here's your double sliding doors. So we can see if this is opened up here. So each door is going to open up. So basically you're going to have about an eight foot opening as both of those open up. So if you are entertaining, especially on a beautiful day like today, you can open this up and be hanging out outside. I love this feature. It is a structural upgrade. So this is a decision you do have to make when you are building. 
Um, you've got to kind of put that into your base plan, whether or not you want that feature. Uh, it could be about a, anywhere from a fifteen to twenty thousand dollar upgrade, depending on the door and the size. And this is an eighty-six foot lot here with Highland Home. So these are really large, large lots, which is needed when you're gonna put a home of this size out here. But what I love about this is you have so much yard, you could put a pool in here and still have lots of grass area. Um, and large lot sizes like this are becoming more and more difficult to find anywhere in DFW. So. Definitely reach out to me if you're interested because right now in the current phase, there's only a few inventory homes left in the 86 foot lots. However, there is another phase of 86 foot home sites that'll be opening with Highland Homes. So if you know you are interested in a larger lot, 86 foot, and you love the Highland product as much as we do, reach out to me and we will share with you the information about the upcoming 86 foot lot phases here at Mustang Lakes. By the way, they're really one of the only builders that we have out here in the North Dallas area that is building something on a large lot. If you guys have been following our channel, you know that 60s and 70s are really your standard with 70s actually being considered a large lot size. So 86s is, is huge in this area. So they will sell very quickly. Um, again, they're already pretty, pretty much sold out. They have just a few inventory homes left at the moment. So when those are sold, they will be completely out of 86s until the next phase. I love this kitchen here. You've got that side courtyard, huge, huge island here separating it. And then lots of cabinet space. You got cabinets on both sides and we've got the two-tone look here. So you've got the white cabinets, uppers and lowers, and then the wood on the island, which looks fantastic. It ties in wonderfully with this wood floors. That's just such a spectacular view from the kitchen. So if you're looking for a home that really kind of brings that wow factor, this floor plan absolutely checks that box. Here we have a first floor media room. This is becoming more and more popular. Media rooms are one of the top three to four most requested uh, rooms when somebody is moving to the area. We get asked a lot when people are moving here for media rooms. We get asked a lot for having a second bedroom downstairs on the main level. We get asked a lot for the tall ceilings in the entryway and in the living room. So those three items are the top three items that we are asked for more so than any other features when it comes to new homes here in the DFW Metroplex. The first floor media room is also becoming more and more popular. I just believe you get more functional use out of having it here than you might upstairs. And I'm just speaking personally, I've got a media room upstairs and uh, we definitely don't use it as much as what we thought. However, people who have it on the main level seem to get a ton more use out of it. Here's a little half bath. I love this right here, the faux finish. Look at the size that makes it look like a big chunky, uh, just high end sink there, but that's actually just a front valance piece to give it that look. But again, that is a nice high end finish. Here we're in your utility room. I love the use of the additional cabinets in here, bringing in all that storage, an additional sink. As we 
move back through. Let's go back into the kitchen. I want to take you guys to the courtyard outside. Uh, that room straight ahead, little meeting room, tech room, uh, does have a door also there, so you can go outside uh, from, to the patio. So I showed you that quickly. And then here is our side patio. I love this little courtyard because it's got the fireplace. You can sit out here, definitely enjoy your morning coffee. Maybe even you put a nice little fire pit or I guess you have the fireplace, so you don't need that, but maybe just put some lounge chairs around the fireplace. That would be super cool. The other really nice thing about this courtyard is that door directly in front of us here that leads into your primary suite. So being able to come directly out here in the mornings or even late at night. And then look at that view. Look at that, guys. Leave me a comment. What do you think about that view right there? That is definitely a million dollar view when it comes to, uh, to homes for sure. We'll head on back to our primary suite. There's the door we just talked about. And then here is that primary. Again, with those beams the use of the larger chandeliers. Now in this room, what you'll notice is the bump out. So here in this little lounge area here where they've got the little couch set up, this is again a structural add-on. So something you need to decide whether or not it's worth it to you, but adding this in, adding the windows to the side, giving you this, and it's probably about a five foot, maybe six foot additional depth to the room, really makes this room look and feel huge. There's the view here from the sitting area, lounge area. You can open up those windows out there right to your your patio outside with the fireplace, give you a nice, beautiful view there. Very important. Recently, you guys have spoke out and told me in one of our uh, community surveys that this makeup area is extremely important to the ladies. So uh, definitely wanted to highlight that here. I like how they set it up. Look at that view, huge windows. They do have the plantation shutters, so you can close them for privacy, but here's your makeup area. And then let's spin around and give you a full view. You've got your split vanities, large soaking tub, and then your walk-in shower, all frameless glass, multiple shower heads, there's your rain shower head. Beautiful, beautiful bathroom. There's that soaking tub. And let's take a look at that closet. Great built-ins coming right from the builder. Lots of cubbies, lots of hanging, a lot of different levels of hanging. I like this furniture piece right here. This built-in section here, especially just to be able to have this area right here to put your, maybe some jewelry or something like that. And then having all the drawers. Again, when you're building something at this price point, this caliber of home, this is definitely what you would expect. I don't know if these are cubbies for shoes. I've got some Jordans on today. Maybe put some Jordans in there. Maybe my wife would have different say at what goes in there. Maybe some handbags, who knows? But they've done a great job as a builder, really just giving you that custom feel without having the custom Price. I know those California closets could be very, 
very expensive. And then just a nice little additional linen closet in here. Put your towels in. You've got your water closet separated by a door. What a beautiful home. Guys, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think so far. Let me know what you think about this owner suite. You guys have seen a bunch of nice ones on our channel, but I think this one is beautiful. I love the beams on the ceiling, how they've tied everything together throughout this home. So there's such uniformity and the beams in all the rooms here. Make our way back here. As we're doing that, let me tell you a little bit about Mustang Lakes as a community. Uh, this is a fantastic community. This is, in my opinion, top three, four, five master plan communities in all of DFW. The amenities here include basketball courts, tennis courts, fitness center, uh, amenity center, just meeting area for all the community to get together. Uh, front yard maintenance with HOA. Uh, for the 86 foot lots, you are looking at, I believe, but $176 a month on that HOA. And that bathroom I just showed you, what's nice about that bathroom right there is there's an additional door that goes outside. So if you did have a pool, let's say, you could have a direct access bathroom from the outside, but it's kind of tucked away from the rest of the house. So that's a nice little add on there. Good use of a half a bath. And now let's make our way upstairs. And Highland does have 86 foot lots. Like I said, coming in another phase, they also have 100 foot by 175 foot deep lots as well. And that product line is with their, basically what I'm gonna call ultra luxury division, which is called Huntington Homes. They have a model that is currently being constructed within the next couple of months. Hopefully it's up and we'll be able to give you guys a tour of that model as well. The 100 foot lots, you are looking at a price range of probably 1.7 to 2 million, 2.1, 2.2 is probably the range of home that you are going to find in a Huntington home. And there's not a bunch of upgrades that you're gonna do on a Huntington because they come completely decked out. So, so the starting price is higher, but because of the luxury division, so much of that is just standard. You're not gonna have to go spend a bunch on structural add-ons, nor will you have to go and spend a bunch at the design center. So much of it is just standard. I love this little area right here. Uh, the little kitchenette area, all those snacks. I'm gonna have to grab a Starburst on the way out for sure. This is the fifth bedroom with second master suite. I've recently had a couple people ask me about secondary master suites. This is one of the first that we've seen on our channel and we've done about 110 different model home tours. And this is not something you see very often, but super cool to have another primary suite. Again, depending on your li living circumstances, if you have, you know, maybe an older child who's moving back in that kind of needs some space, or maybe you've got another loved one that's moving in, an elderly parent or something, and they want some privacy, but they want some luxury too. Take a peek at this. You got the large soaking tub, great finishes up here as well. Good size walk-in shower. Large walk-in closet with hanging on three different sides. There's another hanging rod behind that door. You've got your dual vanity here.
Let me know what you guys think about having a secondary master suite. Again, this is one of those differentiating factors here with Highland Homes that you really don't see. Take a look at that as we walk back through. Huge room. I like how they extended the hardwood floors up here too, uh, especially in this secondary master suite. Just gives it a little bit different of a higher end feel. And then here's your little kitchen area again. Look at all those snacks. I love the staging. You know how somebody comes through with that level of detail to make it look so good. That is a skill. And then here's just secondary living area. I love the desks over there too, having workstations. Be a good spot for each one of my kiddos to do their homework. And then look at the level of detail up here with the wood trim. And that's not easy to do because this room rounds out with the staircase. So the wood, the recess ceiling up here, the open staircase with the iron railings, wrought iron rails. Got another bedroom here. Nice tall ceilings. And this is a very good size secondary bedroom. Look how much space you have right there. That really gives you an idea of the length of the room for sure. Nice tall ceilings. This is an ensuite bath with the bathtub. Oh, nice herringbone design accent wall there. And a walk-in closet. Now guys, I will tell you, just as a reminder, I always like to tell people, I do not work for any builder. I work for you guys as the home buyer. So the reason I say that is because I get to bring a really unique perspective to the home buying process. I get to share with you guys the good, the bad, the ugly. Uh, with every single builder, we have now closed with well over a dozen different builders throughout DFW with our home buyers. So I get to really share that unique perspective of how it is working with specific builders. And that's one of the things I always tell people, if you're thinking about buying new construction. Step one is let's jump on a quick phone call or Zoom and let's talk about what's important to you in the home, the location, the builder, and we can kind of point you in the right direction based on some actual experiences. And we're gonna be able to tell you, you know, what our experiences have been, what our clients' experiences have been, and we can point out some different builders that you may want to consider. We can talk about different communities, the pros and cons of all of those communities as well. So you can make a really good informed decision. My goal is to make sure you are 100% happy with the home, the neighborhood, everything that comes with, you know, the home buying process. So reach out. Uh, on the banner, you'll see the QR code. That actually goes right into my calendar. You can schedule a Zoom. I know a lot of people do that. A lot of people also just simply call or text and we chat and help you guys get pointed in the right direction. So make sure you're using us for a resource. We'd love to be able to help you in that process. All right, so that wraps up the last bedroom up here. I'm gonna take us back into the game area the game room upstairs uh, just to chat a little bit give you a quick recap about highland homes and what's going on here again this 608 model stunning home we're looking at 4800 square feet actually in the model that we just walked through today uh, you're looking at somewhere probably i would budget this for about 1.4 million uh, that's going to keep you in line with what other buyers have recently spent on this exact same model. The model is completely built out with lots of uh, higher end finishes. It's going to put you at about 1.7 million for what we looked at 
uh, with all of the selections that they've done in this home. So one of the things we like to do with our buyers is when you're getting ready to build is sit down and really talk about what add-ons structurally, what add-ons at the design center really are needed um, to make sure that you're extremely happy with your home. We always wanna make sure that you're building a home that also is gonna be a good investment for you. So we wanna make sure you're building something and you're not leaving something out that could impact your future resale of a home. That's one of the additional things we're able to do with our buyers is I look through it as a couple of different lenses. We wanna make sure you love your home, love the area, and also are set up with a great investment on it. Something that's gonna help you build wealth and be sellable one day in the future. And that's my job. That's really where we can come in and really guide you through the whole home buying process, kind of be your independent representation, walking you through the pitfalls of new construction, uh, make sure you're comfortable, confident, you know what is happening, and uh, really assist you through that process. So my information is below the video. So definitely give me a call, reach out, love to chat, and help you with your home buying needs when it comes to new construction and resale. And lastly, if you've not subscribed to our channel, if you could do me a huge favor, if you could hit that subscribe button right now, that does wonders for our channel. It actually tells YouTube we're producing great content. It's valuable content, and that's gonna help YouTube get our channel exposed to even more home buyers who are looking to make the move to the North Dallas area who are interested in new construction. So that really does help us. So if you could do me that favor, hit the subscribe. And by the way, like today's video, leave a comment. We love interacting and getting back to you guys in the comments. Uh, let us know what you like, what you didn't like. And as always, thank you so much for coming on today's model home tour with me. Again, my name is Alex, EXP Realty, your North Dallas real estate expert. I'd love to help you in your home buying or home selling needs. Reach out, hit the like button, leave me a comment. We'll see you on the next model home tour. Take care, everybody. Thanks for joining us.